Hi everyone, this is Joe Pegg from Rabalo Boats. We're here live at the uh, 2011 Palm Beach International Boat Show here in sunny South Florida. Today I'm going to go and show you uh, a few of the 2011 Rabalo models and some of the key features on each of those boats powered exclusively by Yamaha. We'll start off here in the R247 Rabalo, which is our most versatile boat in the entire Rabalo line. It's a crossover between fishing, family, fun, cruising, pretty much anything you want to do on this boat, including skiing or wakeboarding, can be done on this boat. Starting off here, here in the bow, there are several key features. We've got a recessed bow rail that, will, that goes all the way around, so when you're looking overboard, you've got something to hold on to. Nice high backrests and deep gunnels, so it's safe. You feel secure sitting up in the front of this boat. Underneath each one of these cushions here, we've got handles where you don't have to remove the cushions to get underneath them. We've got insulated storage boxes on all three sides. Notice the insulation on top of the lids too. It helps prevent the uh, ice from melting during long days in the water. We've got LED lights up here in the front and all the way through the cockpit. We also have uh, cup holders that are recessed to the side. Up here in the front, we've got a um, designated anchor locker, which can be outfitted with a windlass package, which actually would be tucked up underneath the bow here and not sitting on top of the deck like most of our competitors. You close the lid, you've got a nice wide deck up here in the front with recessed hardware. Even your cleats are recessed all 316 stainless steel. The anchor roller in the front, stainless steel, is standard on this model. What else is, is versatile about this front of this boat is there's actually a uh, filler piece that fills in the center here which can be used for several different things. It can be used as a casting deck for fishing or as a sunbed for when you want to lay out here in the front. Another key feature of this boat is the double door we've got here in the center. Nice thing about that, it actually closes and locks into place, which prevents the wind from going through when you're riding. On top of that, you can close the windshield and it separates the bow of the boat from the cockpit and really does uh, keep the wind from coming through when you've been out in the water for the day and you're wet and it helps keep you uh, from uh, getting cold. Behind this second door here, we've got a lot of storage. This is a lockable compartment. Notice the two Plano boxes for storage of your tackle. And over on the side there, you've got storage for your bow filler piece, as well as your cockpit table. And on top of that, you can fit a lot more, uh, a lot more other of your personal items in there also. The stereo is um, tucked over here to the side, so it's secure, out of the weather. It does have an iPod plug, which is here on the dash as well as controls here on the dash so you can control all your music while you're driving the boat. Coming over to the cockpit here, you can see big thing on this boat was styling. We went with a very uh, stylish custom designed dash that fits perfectly 10-inch uh, electronics. You've got backlit rocker switches, all aluminum instrument panels, and a tilt steering wheel. Notice the gray gel coat on the dash, which helps reduce the glare of the sun when you're driving and keeps your eyes from squinting. We also went with a five-piece windshield on this boat with a non-distortion straight glass, which offers uh, not only styling but functionality also. Coming over to the uh, helm area here, we've got this new Rabalo helm seat here, which is very innovative. It's a fiberglass shell design with a built-in armrest. And one of the unique features of this boat with this seat is actually that you can turn sideways in it while still having an armrest. So if you're pulling skiers, you're fishing, or even socializing with your uh, friends on the boat, you can turn sideways and look in the boat. You're not obstructed by an armrest. On top of that, the seat has levers that you pull up and you can slide the seat forward or back and on the other side, you can pull the lever and actually turn the seat sideways, which is very unique. Most boats you have to do what we call the blind reach and unscrew the uh, part on the bottom of the seat. And on top of that, another unique feature about the, the boat is that it's a flip-up seat. So if you want to stand up and drive, it actually flips up. 
It's got a contoured backrest as well as lumbar support built into the seat. This is a new seat for Rabala for 2011 and uh, we're very proud of the seat and uh, it's done very well in the marketplace this year. Notice the bolster cushions that go around the entire boat as well as molded uh, cup holders and uh, your speakers that are custom with Rabala logos. This boat here is outfitted with a 300 Yamaha horsepower motor, which is a new Command Link Plus motor, which gives you the uh, fly-by wiring digital controls. Coming over here to the port side of the boat, we've got a uh, glove box here that opens up that can store a few personal items with a custom Rabala logo. Stainless steel handle opens up to a full-size head compartment and it is a vacu flush porcelain head which runs off fresh water. Notice the teak and holly floors, a mirror, solid surface countertops, a stainless steel fresh water sink, and maple cabinetry. There's plenty of headroom, plenty of space, and this is one of the more luxurious head compartments out of any dual console in the industry. Coming over here to the port side seating, notice you've got three cup holders here. You can never have enough cup holders on a boat, especially this style of boat, which is uh, so versatile and used for so many different things. The nice thing about this seat, you've got a double wide seat here where you can sit, actually sit two people. Very, very unique in this style of boat. And the cool thing about this seat is its functionality. You can actually turn the seat sideways, slide it back, and now you can sit sideways and actually face the captain and this is kind of a nice social setting here. And then when you want to either fish or you want to pull somebody on a tube or just face backwards, the seat actually comes out and turns backwards too. And the nice thing about this, like I said, if you're pulling skiers, you can sit here and watch them ski, pull a tuber. Um, and also when you're fishing, you can watch your lines from back here. And uh, also you can convert this area to a rear dinette. So if you want to sit here and play cards, have lunch, you've got a three person seat here in the back. You can fit four kids and then two adults on this side. And you've got a table here, which is removable. So you can sit here and have uh, kind of a dinette area. This table also goes, goes into the front area too. So if you want to be in the bow of the boat and use that as a U-shaped seating and have a table, it is removable and it does move to the front of the boat also.